Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tiffany Hansen with Hooked for Hope. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They are fantastic baby gifts. They are even better kid gifts. Oh my gosh, both of my kids have a set each. Kids flock to these. They just want to play with them. <laughs> I swear they are just amazing. If at any point in my video you do like what you see, please push the thumbs up button. If you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. That way you don't miss any of my videos. I release two brand new videos every single week and you are not going to want to miss out. So let's go ahead and dive right into the materials you're going to need to make these guys. Okay, the materials that you are going to need to make your little Ninja Turtle guy is a size 4 weighted yarn. You're going to need a couple different colors. You're going to need a green, a light green color. Just go through whatever size four weighted yarn matches closely with this. I'm gonna have the exact yarn that I used in the material section of this video. So if you want to use exactly what I used, you can absolutely find that in the material section. Um, you're gonna want a tan or beige color for the main body part. You're going to want a dark green color for his shell. You're gonna want the black color because I use black for the eyes. I use buttons, so two buttons for the eyes. Uh, I use the black color to sew the buttons on so that way it just keeps it a solid color instead of drawing more attention to the eyes. Uh, if you do not want to use buttons, that's totally fine. Uh, I will show you an alternative that you can do instead if you would like to. And then you're gonna need a color for the bandana to go around his head like all the ninjas have. All right, so you're gonna want a size E crochet hook or a 4-3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You're gonna need some tapestry needles or yarn needles, a pair of scissors, you're gonna need polyfill or some kind of filler to uh, stuff him with. And then optional is fabric glue. So this is the fabric glue that I have linked in the note section below. Um, I'm going to use the same stuff that I have recommended in all my other videos. So if you have purchased this already, we're going to work with it together. Uh, and if you choose not to use fabric, fabric glue, no worries. I'm going to have an alternative route for you to go so you don't have to use this at all either. Sound good? All right, let's go ahead and dive right into making your first Ninja Turtle. All right, let's start with the head. We're starting with the top of the Ninja Turtle, taking our lighter green color and our crochet hook. Let's start with about seven or eight inches. I use, I use my beginning yarn strip for a yarn row marker. Uh, if you use little row marker hooks or a safety pin or a paper clip, you only need a small little one and a half starter to your tail. But because I use my tail as my row marker, I'm going to start with about seven or eight inches. I'm going to make my slip knot, insert my crochet hook. The head is worked in rounds. So if you want to either start with the chain two method or you can start with the magic ring, either way will get you the same exact results. I prefer the chain two method where I will just chain two if you want to use the magic ring to start her off, go ahead and do that. All right, so round one, you're going to put eight single crochets in the first chain or inside your magic ring. So eight single crochets. One, two, three. Great, yarn over. Pull your yarn tail through if you are using the yarn tail. If you are using your row marker, go ahead and move your row marker. We're going to just dive right into our round two. We are going to work in continuous rounds. We are not going to slip stitch chain one. Okay, so in round two, we are going to increase in the first stitch and one single crochet in the second stitch. What increase means is we'll put two single crochets in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the second stitch and then repeat that process all the way around. So here we go. First stitch, we're putting two single crochets. One, two, 
two, next stitch we're putting one single crochet. One, next stitch we're putting two single crochets. One, two, next stitch we're putting one single crochet. One, all right, repeat all the way around. Two, one, two, one. You will end round two with 12 single crochets. Yarn over, pull through your loop. We've just closed off round two right there. Okay, so round three, we're going to increase in the first stitch and one single crochet in the next stitch. And then repeat, two single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet, one single crochet. All the way around, you should end round three with 18 single crochets. So first space, we're putting two single crochets. One, two. Next space, we're putting one single crochet. One. And then two single crochet. One. Two. And then one single crochet. One. Repeat the whole process all the way around. All right, yarn over, pull through your loop. We have just closed off round three. Round four, we are going to increase in the first space and then put one single crochet in the next two spaces. So it's going to be two single crochet, one, one. Two single crochet, one, one. And then repeat that pattern all the way around. You should end round four with 24 single crochets. So first stitch is two single crochets. Next stitch is one single crochet and then one single crochet. Then two single crochets. And then one single crochet, one single crochet. Okay, repeat. Yarn over, pull through. You've just finished round four. In round five, we're going to increase in the first stitch or put two single crochets in the first stitch. And then we're going to put one single crochet in the next two stitches. Okay, so and that's going to be the repeating pattern again. Two, one, one, two, one, one, all the way around. You will end round five with 32 single crochets. So first stitch, we're putting two single crochets. One, two, and then one, and one, and then two one, two, and then one, one. And then just go ahead and repeat that pattern. And 32, great, okay? Yarning over, pulling through that loop. Perfect, okay, we are on round six. In round six, we're going to increase in the first stitch and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. So it's going to be two single crochet, one, one, one. Two single crochet, one, one, one. Repeating the pattern all the way around. You should end round six with 40 single crochets. First stitch, two single crochets, one, two, and then one, 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 and then two. 40, perfect. Okay, yarning over, pulling through our loop. Okay, round seven through round 12 is just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around, okay? So round seven, round eight, round nine, round 10, round 11, and round 12 are each going to have 40 single crochets in each round. Okay, so go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with you and then I will meet you at the end of round 12. It's just one single crochet in each stitch. Great guys, we just finished round 12. We are now ready for round 13. In round 13, we start to decrease and round out our head. Okay, 
So what you're going to do is you're going to decrease the first two stitches together and that will look like this. Put your crochet hook in the first stitch, yarn over, pull through, put your crochet hook in the second stitch, yarn over, pull through. So now you have three loops on your crochet hook. You're going to yarn over and pull through all three loops and that just turned two stitches into one and that's a decrease. Okay, so decrease in the first two and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. So one, one, and one. And then we repeat. So the next two stitches we will decrease. So one, two, yarn over, pull through all three and then one single crochet in the next three stitches. You're going to repeat this process all the way around for round 13. You're going to end round 13 with 32 single crochets. And three, great, we reached the end of round 13. Yarn over, pull through. With round 14, you are going to decrease the first two stitches together and then you are going to single crochet in the next two stitches. And that is the repeating pattern for round 14 is decrease one, one. Decrease one, one. You will end round 14 with 24 single crochets. So first stitch, one, second stitch, one, yarn over, pull through all three, and then one single crochet, one single crochet, one. Perfect. Yarning over, pulling through. Just finished round 14. For round 15, we are going to decrease in the first two stitches and then one single crochet in the next two stitches. So we're going to decrease, then one, one decrease one one and we were going to finish round 15 with 18 single crochets all right let's get started with this pattern so decrease and then one 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 and one great okay Yarn over, pull through, just finished round 15. For round 16, we're going to decrease the first two spaces and then one single crochet. Decrease, one single crochet. That's the repeating pattern all the way around for round 16. You will end round 16 with 12 single crochets. last stitch fantastic all right go ahead and yarn over pull through that loop now if you are looking at the instructions from craftster she actually goes to round 17 to completely close up the entire circle i stop at round 16 because it actually evenly spaces out the number of stitches of the body that i want to attach it to and it works out perfectly so i just stop here at round 16 or after round 16, going to cut a long tail so that way I have enough yarn to attach the head to the body and I am going to insert my crochet hook into the very first stitch, yarn over, pull through, slip stitch, so I'm going to pull that all the way through that first loop, then yarn over and pull through the loop on my hook. And that just offers a very clean slip knot right there. Okay, so the head is done. Let's go ahead and move right on to the mask. All right, so selecting the color you want to use for the mask. I'm using the blue, going to make a Leonardo. Taking your crochet hook, 
go ahead and make a decent size tail because this end we are going to weave into our work so you want to make sure there's enough of a tail to have enough yarn to weave into the project create your slip knot beautiful okay now chain 50 chains one two three four all right, phew, we made it to 50. Okay, you are going to single crochet in the second chain from your hook. So one, two, insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through both of those loops. Okay, one single crochet. You're going to place one single crochet in each chain all the way across to the end. All right, last crochet chain, putting one single crochet in there. Perfect. All right, you're going to chain one, turn your work. The next two rows are just one single crochet and each stitch all the way across. Okay, go ahead and finish your next two rows of single crochet and I will meet you at the end. Okay, so we have just finished our three rows of single crochets. We are ready to cut off your yarn. Make sure you cut enough to weave in your ends. Okay, so if you would like to refer to this video right here, check out that link. It will take you to my video where I show many different ways of weaving your ends if you are curious about trying something new. Uh, if not, feel free to just weave in your ends however you like to weave in your ends. I'm going to yarn over pull through my loop just to tie that knot off. I'm going to go ahead and just go back and forth through my work. Great. I'm going to go ahead and drop that needle off, go to the other tail and weave this one in. Try to make sure that both ends weave through and come out on the same side of the mask. So here I have both tails coming out this side of the mask. I'm going to cut our remaining little tails off so that way it will evenly lay over that next stitch. It's about that much. Go for the next one. About that much. Okay. Grabbing our flexible, stretchable fabric glue that is for knits right here. Permanent fabric adhesive for t-shirts, knits, and stretchable fabrics. It is non-toxic, dries clear, and it's meant for fabrics. Super awesome stuff. We're just going to put a little dab right there and lay that over the top. Okay and a little dab right there and lay that over the top remembering the glue does dry clear so you have nothing to worry about okay now the glue that i used in previous examples was a quick drying glue so it dried really fast but this one needs a second to dry it needs a second to set okay so we're going to actually go ahead and put it off to the side and let it dry if you find that the glue did not stick with the material or the, the yarn, feel free to add just a little bit more. And you're not really shoving it into the material, you're just laying it down until it sticks, just like that. Next up we are going to work on are the arms, legs, and the main torso body part of the Ninja Turtle. All five of these pieces are the exact same pattern. You just repeat the exact same pattern, four of which are with the green color and one of which is with the tan color, okay? So let's go ahead and dive right into the tan color, knowing that we'll make one tan and four green. I, again, use a yarn tail, marker tail, to get from row to row. So I'm going to start with a five inch long marker, row marker tail 
If you use the plastic row markers, you can start with a much smaller row marker tail. That's totally fine. Okay, I'm gonna make my slip knot. Again, we are going to work in rounds, the round shape. So you can either start with a chain two or you can start with the magic ring, whichever method you like to work with the most. I like the chain two method, so I'm gonna use that. You're going to put eight single crochets in the first chain or eight single crochets inside the magic ring. And eight, great. Yarning over marker tail, pulling it through my loop, reinserting my crochet hook. We have just finished round one. Round two, you are going to increase in each space all the way around, or basically put two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. You're going to end round two with 16 single crochets. One, two, 15, and 16. Great, okay? Yarn over marker tail, pull it through your loop. Perfect, we are now ready for round three. Round three and round four is just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You will end both round three and round four with 16 single crochets in each row. Okay, so go ahead and finish up round three and round four, and I will meet you at the end of round four. Round five, we are going to decrease the first two stitches. So insert crochet hook, yarn over, pull through. Next stitch, insert your crochet hook, yarn over, pull through. Have three loops on your crochet hook. One loop coming from this stitch, one loop coming from this stitch, yarn over, pull through all three loops and you have just made two stitches into one. Now you're going to put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around for round five. You're going to end round five with 15 single crochets. All right, ending round five, yarning over, pulling through the loop. Round six and round seven are just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. So go ahead and work on round six and round seven, and, and I will meet you at the end of round seven. Round eight is the same as round five, so we are going to decrease the first two stitches. And then one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. We're going to end round eight with 14 single crochets. Perfect. Yarn over, pull through. Round nine and round 10 are just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. In round 11, we're going to decrease the first two stitches together. And then single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. And then decrease again the next two stitches. And then one single crochet in the last five stitches. Pull through. The very last round is round 12, and in round 12, we just put one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. We finish round 12 by yarning over, pulling through our loop. You're only going to cut off just a small little bit of yarn for the main body part. We don't need a long tail for the main body part because our head already has the sewing yarn that we're going to be using to attach the head and the body together. So we don't need an extra long tail for the body. Crush, insert your crochet hook into the first stitch. Yarn over, pull through. Pull that yarn through the loop already on your hook for a slip stitch. Yarn over, pull that yarn through your loop to make a slip knot to secure. Perfect, okay, the body part is done. You will, you will repeat this entire pattern for the body four more times in the green color 
So that way you have your arms, your legs ready to go. And then we will move on to the actual shell of the turtle. Okay, we are now making the shell of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle, taking the dark green color. If you are using the yarn for a marker tail, we're going to take about a four inch long tail and then making our slip knot. Perfect. If you are using your row markers, you will only need a small little tail. Go ahead and either chain two or magic ring. Again, this is worked in a circle going for the chain two. You're going to put eight single crochets in the first chain or inside your magic ring. One, eight, yarn over, pull through that loop or move your row marker. Okay, working in a continuous row. Round two, we are just putting one increase in each space all the way around, which means you're putting two single crochets in each stitch all the way around. You're going to end round two with 16 single crochets. So in that first stitch, we're going to put two single crochets, one, two, next stitch, two single crochets, three, four, and repeat, 15, 16. All right, yarning over, pulling through that loop. So with round three, we're going to put two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the second stitch, and then repeat that pattern. Two, one, two, one, all the way around. You will end round three with 24 single crochets. So first stitch gets two, one, two, second stitch gets one, one, and two, one, two, and then one, and repeat, and one. Great. Okay, yarning over, pulling through. Round four of our shell is just one single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You're going to end round four with 24 single crochets. Round five, we are gonna start to decrease. So round five, we are going to decrease in the first two stitches and then one single crochet, and then decrease one single crochet, decrease one single crochet repeating the pattern all the way around. You will end round five with 16 single crochets. So first two stitches, decrease, and then one single crochet. And then, and last stitch is one single crochet. I'm gonna yarn over my row marker tail, pull it through my loop, reinsert my hook. Great. Okay, the last row of this entire shell is one decrease in each two spaces. So basically, decrease, 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 all the way around the entire row. Okay, you're going to end round with eight single crochets. So one stitch, two stitch, yarn over, Pull through both. One stitch, two stitch, yarn over, pull through both. One stitch, two stitch, yarn over, pull through both. And just repeat all the way around. Great. Pulling through my marker tail, grabbing my scissors. I'm going to cut a long tail so I can sew my shell onto the back of my Ninja Turtle. Reinsert my crochet hook into that loop. Next space on the shell, going to slip stitch. So yarn over, pull through, pull all the way through, then yarn over and pull through that loop to make that slip knot. We are done there. Great. Okay, so now we have all of our pieces made. We have our head. We have the body, we have the two legs, two arms, we have the shell, and we have our mask. We have all the pieces created. Go ahead and take a second, 
grab your polyfill or whatever kind of stuffing that you're going to use and go ahead and stuff all of your pieces so that way they are full they hold shape but they're not bulging and showing stuffing through the holes we don't want it to be that full okay so go ahead and take a second and stuff all of your pieces